Pedro singer Jason Aldean has expressed his condolences to the victims of the attack. As we told you earlier in the program, the Macon native had just been on stage for a few minutes when the gunfire erupted. Back here at home, Aldean's hometown is grieving alongside with him. We've had a Fox 5 crew out in Macon all day long, and folks say that they are just devastated by the news. Fox 5's Patty Pan went to Aldean's hometown today. Patty, many of the people that you spoke with say that it's, ho it's really close to home for them. This really does hit close to home for a lot of Macon residents. That's because Aldine still comes home often. We're told he still has family in this area. He also holds benefit concerts for the Children's Hospital. He is so much a part of this community that they've even named a street after him. We're all praying for him. We're all praying for the souls in Las Vegas. That's about all we can do is pray. Out doing something positive and good and um, just um, prayers are with them and with him as well. Words of support and prayers, what the city of Macon is sending cross country to one of their own, Jason Aldean. The city's very own country music superstar was performing on stage at the Country Music Festival in Las Vegas Sunday night when a gunman opened fire from a nearby hotel. I was praying for him, all the ones that the families and all. I just couldn't believe it. It was so sad. Horrific. It's a tragedy. No one can go anywhere nowadays without some lunatic doing what this gentleman did. It's just a shame. Aldean's roots are in Macon. He now even has a street sign named after him, Jason Aldean Way, outside where we are told the new children's hospital is slated to open in 2019. Aldean has never forgotten about his hometown. These are pictures from his Facebook page of his visits with the children at the children's hospital, where he has raised over a million dollars through concerts. Following the shooting, Aldean posted a, quote, prayer for Las Vegas photo to his Instagram page alongside this, quote, tonight has been beyond horrific. I still still don't know what to say, but wanted to let everyone know that me and my crew are safe. My thoughts and prayers go out to everyone involved tonight. It hurts my heart that this would happen to anyone who's just coming out to enjoy what should have been a fun night, end quote. Again, this community numb and shocked that something like this could happen, sending their thoughts and prayers. Reporting live in Macon tonight, I'm Patty Pan, Fox 5 News. So many. Thoughts and prayers for all those who were touched by this tragedy. Thank you, Patty.